Amongst U.S. nationals, the stars or asterisks on the passport are quite a common discussion. People wonder and debate as to what they are, what they mean, how to get more, and if getting more truly gets you on the do not detain list. Today, I'm going to answer all of those questions to the best of my ability by sharing my personal experience along with information provided in multiple videos by James C. Lovett, whose YouTube channel is linked in the description below. I'm making this video because I believe my experience can add on to and confirm that Lovett's method works, as well as make the information more concise because his information is widely spread amongst many of his videos, some of which are now outdated. Before we begin, this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video is a call to action. I am not telling or suggesting anyone does anything, nor am I responsible for anyone else's actions. First things first, what are passport stars and where are they? The passport card is currently the only document with stars on it. They're located near the top left under the word passport. Apparently the passport book used to have them as well, but they were removed shortly after the passport card came out. The number of stars is bound to be encoded into the passport book, but currently can only be seen physically on the card. There's a chance they'll be removed from the card too when it is updated, which the Department of State says will be soon. What does it matter though? What do they mean? At the moment, all the information I have to share is anecdotal, but very interesting, and I will do my best to confirm it when I use my passport. According to James C. Lovett, as well as a few other nationals, the stars are an indicator of risk level. The more stars someone has, the less of a risk they are, so the higher their security clearance. Where this information comes from, I cannot confirm. People claim this information comes directly from the Department of State. I've even seen someone claim that this was on their website, but was removed last year. Again, I was unable to confirm this, despite looking through the Internet Archive Wayback Machine and going through the Department of State's website. If anyone can find this, please let me know. If this is true, what are the differences between the number of stars and what are the benefits of having more stars? Passports have been seen with anywhere from 1 to 5 stars. Apparently anyone can have 1 to 5 stars. And according to James C. Lovett, 3 stars is the normal amount for the average person, and most people you'll meet that have a passport card will have 3 stars. A naturalized citizen, depending on the country, might have 1 to 3 stars. People from the military, or maybe parts of the government, tend to have 4 stars. It's unknown who gets 5 stars by default, but it's easy to assume that it's people that are high up in the military or government. So people who have 4 or 5 stars claims it gets them put on a do not detain list. It gets them in the expedite line for free at the airport, and even gets them special treatment at the airport, embassies, and consulates. The exact difference between 4 and 5 is unknown, but it sounds like having at least 4 is ideal, with 3 still being okay. Apparently, key people who check passports know immediately when they see the card, so I intend to ask them next time I travel. I will update all of you if I get any information. It sounds like the stars are not super important, but the more the merrier. So what could a person do to get more? There are likely two primary things that make the difference. First, the affidavit on file, and included between the pages of the application, is likely the most important thing for getting 5 stars. Linked below is the template for the affidavit I used. Second, the way the passport application is filled may also be important. Linked below is Lovett's most recent video on how to fill out the passport application. It's updated often, so if there's a new one I'll do my best to update the description. Adapted from Copper Moonshine's method, Lovett uses a variety of different techniques and methods of wording to fully remove the person from the US government's jurisdiction. Doing so gets a person more stars. My best guess as to why that is is that since the US government is foreign to the United States of America government, and since the passport is for USA citizens, someone with ties to the US would likely be more of a risk to the USA. Whatever the reason is though, it seems to work. Personally, I did a renewal rather than getting a new passport altogether, so I wasn't able to use his method on some of the questions that aren't on the renewal application, such as saying my parents are not US citizens. 
I also did not authenticate the birth certificate or change the social security status yet. Despite that, I still got five stars on my passport card. For that reason, I believe the affidavit to be the most important thing, though it doesn't hurt to use Lovett's method as well, especially since you can do the application at home while watching his video and bring it with you to the passport office. That's all I have to share at the moment. If anyone has any more information on the passport stars, please let me know. Thank you for watching.